You may wonder what uh, the Consumer Protection Commission and the Road Safety have in common. Why are they coming on the same segment? You'll find out in good time. But suffice to say that the earlier report, the report you saw earlier, is about aviation, and there are no more flights to a certain part of the, of the country from the report that you have heard. Even now, perhaps even, even worse. That naturally puts the pressure on the roads. It's Christmas Eve today, just in case you have forgotten. Today is December 24. Tomorrow is Christmas Day. And we have with us here the Sector Commander, Lagos uh, Command of uh, Federal Road Safety Commission, Hygienos Major. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, Ayo. So, um, the pressure is on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How, how much of that is now? No more air travel, so pressure is more on the roads. Uh, uh, the, the pressure has always been on the road. Even while the flights were flying, you'll know that um, um, most f uh, cargoes and uh, freight movements are always done by the road. And that's why we have been having all those incessant crashes and ob road obstructions due to falling uh, tankers and containers and all those stuff. The greater bulk of all travels that they do do in Nigeria is mostly by the road. 90%, I may say, you know. There's only a few that fly, as you can see yeah. over there. So um, we've been having it pretty tough uh, since last um, week, right? Even two weeks back, it's, it's, it's come to a building by the day. And um, the last week was, to me, the crescendo of it, uh, particularly Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you are on Lagos, Ibado Express Road, you will agree with me, it, it was something else. And, and uh, one would assume you know. it's the same in different parts and of the and, and that's what it is also in other corridors. Um, by the time we push people off from Lagos Axis, you, you will move them to uh, Shagamu, uh, Bini Ore axis, and um, uh, before you know it, it's already between Bini uh, uh, Asaba and getting into Onicha. Onicha Owere, just like that, because mostly the movement must, I must confess, the eastern part has the highest chunk. You know, just before the Yuletide season yes. kicked in, the commission gave out statistics of, uh, you know, road crashes over the past 10 months, over 4,000 deaths, yeah. and, you know, uh, across over 9,000, you know, accidents in the country in 10 months. That's like an average of 157 deaths per day. I mean, it just shows how dangerous it could be. Now, I saw that statistic and I realized that over 800 uh, of those, you know, accidents yeah. were as a result of articulated vehicles, vehicles, which is a major concern. So yes, the traffic is inevitable, but the big question is what the commission is doing. How ready is the commission to handle the influx and outflux in the season? Well. Hitherto, because I won't tell you that all these things took us on our ways. Hitherto, we had already prepared for it. Uh, the, the, the call started with um, uh, a sort of a strategic session of all the FRSC high command. Uh, that was uh, about three weeks back. We, we all went to Abuja uh, early this month and we strategized. That was where the operational strategy was actually drawn. All the zonal commands, they came up with their strategies. All the sector commands, they had their strategies. We were able to articulate all these things and came up with a strategic framework towards our Operation Zero. Because the essence this time is around is that, look, we must not record. And even if we record, the emphasis is it must not be a fatal one. So to that effect, uh, the, uh, the FRSC High Command um, came up with the deployment that we uh, see all the uh, regular marshals and of course also complemented by our special marshals come on board uh, within this period. And I think to be specific with numbers, our 39,450 officers and men, including the special marshals, have been redeployed uh, within this period. All the the, the, the administrative staff, everybody pulled to the road because that's where the action is uh, now. And we also have about 806 patrol vehicles uh, across the nation highways, you know, 120 ambulances, 204 motorbikes, you know, and about 27 tow trucks, both heavy duty and light duty tow trucks, you know, uh, deployed. And um, here too, despite what was done at the FRSC High Command in Abuja, um, all the sector commands also went back and cascaded that uh, downwards. Um, okay. In Lagos, I, I did mine la last um, week, Monday. I brought all my operat operatives, especially the, the officers who, on whose shoulder 
the bulk of the work lies because they are the ones who supervise the men. And we sat down and said, look, Lagos Ibadan is very critical to us. How do we handle it? Okay. You know. Uh, you would have to interface, now that you've mentioned the Gossip and Expressway, yes. you would have to interface with um, other units yeah. of uh, other agencies, agencies yes. in road transport, yes. uh, road safety, uh, security, and all of that. So <coughs> in Lagos, for instance, there is LASMA, you know, yes. there is Trace, yeah. and I'm sure that a number of other states have theirs like that. Yes. And of course, there is the police who okay. would also be on the roads. Yes. Sometimes traffic is induced by, you know, when operatives stop people along the road. Now, how do you manage that relationship? Because on the one hand, uh, road safety would stop some people, ask them certain questions, delay them for whatever number of hours or minutes or, you know, and then not too far from uh, a, a particular, the same distance, another operative may be another agency, agency altogether, agency. stops them, ask them the same questions, mm -hmm. and then, maybe a, another agency down the road. So what are the things that people are supposed to prepare to answer which agency whenever those questions occur? Because you, you would agree that that's also part of the things that cause road congestion. Uh, well, um, at this period, um, there's always high level of synergy among all the sister agencies. That has always been and that will continue to be because no agency can actually do it all now in Nigeria. Even when you are looking at the security situation in the country, you know yeah, that know all that, hands must the, be on top. What are the things but then, that, you know, a, primary to road for, safety? For every, that... for every agency, they have their uh, primary focus. Okay. For us, the focus is that before you even be on the road, you must have the legal permit to be on the road, which is your driver's license. If for any reason we have to stop and we need to ask you some basic questions, you must be, uh, you must have your driver's license. Which other agency we, of government can do that? Any other agency of government can do it depending on what is the issue. For example, if a policeman is stopping you on the highway, his antenna is actually on the security of everybody in that vehicle. He wants to know, is this vehicle stolen? Is this vehicle, uh, are you the rightful owner? Uh, he, he is also psychologically looking at everybody there to see that everybody is really sitting with ease, not that you see people that they are there on that gunpoint, you know, things like that. So for the police on the highway within this period, and I'm happy I watched the Abuja this thing before coming on stage, you notice that their primary concern is, look, the security of everybody on transit. FRS is about the safety of everybody on transit, that there must not be any crash, and if there is a crash, there must be prompt uh, uh, rescue operations, and there must be prompt uh, 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 clearance of, of those obstructions arising from uh, those crimes. And for us now also, what we also did is we emphasized more now on free flow of traffic. There are some minor, minor offenses we can just, you know, overlook at this period, provided you do not create congestion. Because the emphasis is that Nigerians must not sleep on the road. Nobody must spend hours on the road. We must make this travel experience as pleasurable mm -hmm. as it can be. You know, we see that your men will be spending Christmas and the holidays on the road. So we'd like to appreciate you, you know, for the work you are doing. And great to shed light on, I mean, the preparations you have for this yield type. Yeah, most, most certainly. Um, Hygiene Osobeja is the sector commander of Lagos uh, State Police Command of the Federal Road Safety Commission. Come again? Did you say police command? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, command <laughs> of the Federal Safety Commission. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very but much. I believe Abuja has another concern to focus on. Malpe.